actively with a women's question with a wider society, but outside the church circles. People like uh, Medha Patkar, who has been leading an intensive struggle on the question of uh, uh, anti-dam struggle in the interest of women question and ecological question, which combines interdisciplinary. And also people like uh, Aruna Rai, who was raising a question on policy making, right to information in the light of what's happening to the women in the nation that is not isolating women from the rest of the society, but also connecting them with a wider uh, society and its structures. And very much with uh, V. Gita, who has been working on the question of uh, anti-Brahman movement or writing history from uh, women's perspective. So these are some of the prominent women uh, and Neera Chandukar on uh, political science, who, are, who have been inspiration to us, teaching us to understand, raise questions, basic questions on what does it mean uh, to be patriarchal society. So taking this orientation from these uh, great uh, uh, women of God, what I would like to raise a question or compliment our paper presenter today, uh, Dr. Yo is in this way. The basic question is the Dr. Yo has uh, connected the church and society trying to locate the women within the uh, theological institute called church. But to my experience in India, the church has not really made in much impact on society. On the other side, the women who were not very much educated, the so-called illiterate, they were the one who could really influence the governments to change their policies. They were the one very instrumental to bringing new light into the disciplines. Number one, the whole uh, Chipko movement of uh, Himalaya region where the government has given the forest to a, 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 a sports company to cut down the forest and uh, use those wood to make cricket bats. So it was the women who have connected the trees with the wider economy of that hilly region. They went and they embraced the trees and they said, first you cut us, then only you can cut the tree. So the movement was called as Chipko movement. Later, consequently, uh, with the government policies on building big dams, the women, particularly mentioning to Medha Patkar, one of the daughters of a uh, farmer trade unionist from Bombay, and she was a professor at Tata Institute of Research Sciences. She left her research work and she joined the tribals, the tribals of uh, Narmada Valley. Narmada River is a, is a very lifeline river to the nation. And by building number of big dams, they are submerging the whole region, the forests and the tribals. And she could speak to these issues to the tribals and bring an awakening among them. And today, this particular movement has raised women's issue connecting with the rest of many issues. So women's issue is not seen as an isolation from the rest of the social life, but it is very much connected with the daily life of the wider communities. So raising women's issue has to be within the very question of what is the nature of development, what is the nature of policy, and what is the nature of governance, even what is the nature of judiciary. 